Now, falling foreign exchange rates in the wake of the Brexit vote don't appear to have lessened our appetites for foreign travel. The surveys found 46% growth in currencies sold online this month compared to the same period last year. What does it all mean? I don't quite understand all this, the pound going up and down business, but how it really affects us. That's sort of personal finance expert Jasmine Bertels, who does. You know how it all works. I mean, it effectively makes it more expensive for us to go away, doesn't it? Yes, basically. So, so if the pound is high, then that means you can buy more dollars, more euros, more yen or whatever for your pound. When it's low, that means that it's going to cost us more to buy their currency. So whatever we buy when we go there, it's effectively going to cost us more, even if their prices haven't moved at all. It's still, mm. still more expensive for us. So it's interesting that you're saying it's not putting people off, because I spoke to somebody this morning in our makeup team, actually, who's just come back from New York, and she said it was so expensive. Yes. They had to go out for breakfast one day, and they bought four bagels and a coffee, and it came to $45, <gasps> wow, which is yes. basically... Well, £45 pounds these getting days. There, getting um, there, yes. You know, so they were eating. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, or I think... Because I've, I've got a friend who's going also to, to New York tomorrow, but they booked back in, in the spring. So I think at the moment what we've got is a lot of people who booked maybe a year ago and, and probably over the last few months they were thinking, oh, no, look at the pound going down. Get, but, you know, they've booked. What can you do? So it'll be interesting to see what happens next year uh, when people are actually starting to book and I think a lot but, of them will stay in Britain. But yeah. realistically, do we think about it in those terms when we're, we, we want to go away on holiday mm. and we just think, Where's the right, sun? I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go away somewhere yeah. and if it costs me a little bit more for a coffee or a beer so or whatever it, it is, yeah. Have to put up with it. Well, I, I do think this, uh, because I've seen a, a number of surveys over the years that, that says that the one thing that British people will not give up is their holiday. Even if, you know, if, if they have one holiday particularly, they, they love to go on holiday to Spain or whatever. You want to, as you say, you want to go to the sun. So I think what's going to happen is people will keep doing their holidays. A lot, I think, will stay in Britain. I think it's going to be very good for British tourism, frankly. Uh. But what will happen is they'll give up on other things. So I think it will have a bit of a knock-on, a, 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 yeah, I, I would say quite a bad knock-on effect on other businesses. Maybe they won't go out to eat so much. Uh, maybe they won't buy so many clothes. Um, they won't have such big parties in order to pay for the one big holiday in the sun. Mm. And any top tips once they're on that holiday in order to save money if they are facing, you know, an unfortunate exchange rate, as it could still be next summer or whenever Absolutely, it yes. It, who knows what's going to happen, but yes, it could still be like that. So the best thing, really, is to, to have a look at the currency, ideally a week or so before you go. Um, have a look online, because there is a lot of competition. You can actually save quite a bit by having a look online, maybe ordering it online. What you can quite often do is order it online and then pick it up at the airport or wherever you're leaving from so that can be a nice easy way to do it don't buy it at the airport that's the most expensive way to do it um, well, and I, just, I just use a cash point when I'm out there well there is that as well yes yeah, sometimes the, the only thing about using a cash point is that you you basically have to take whatever the, the yeah. rate is yeah it might be good, it might, might not be. Um, it, it's quite a good idea maybe to do a bit of both. You know, get some here where you know you've, you've checked and you can, you've got the cheapest. Get some out there. If you do use the cash point and it says, do you want it um, oh, yes, in sort of British or, or yeah. local rate, choose the local rate. Uh, and another thing to do, if you want a budget, is almost just to take cash or just take one of those prepaid cards. Oh, like a, yeah. like a clarity card? Is yeah, those kind of, yeah. yes, yes, Fairfax does it, Caxton, Lloyds, they, they do um, foreign exchange mm. prepaid cards. It's a bit like a pay-to-go mobile. You, you load it up with cash before, and you fix the rate when you do that. I like yeah. that And then idea. you use it. And if you say yeah. to yourself, right, I'm taking £200, that's it. Yeah, and then, then you are going to budget a bit when you're there. Yeah, uh, sensible advice. As <laughs> always, Jasmine, <laughs> good to see you. If only we had some holidays in the offing. Yeah. Some holidays yeah. planned. I know, I'm I've, the same. I've yeah. just had four glorious days in Spain. 